What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Yes, a family, because somebody said, talking about I got a family to feed, and do, and is. Anyhow, we are about to get into this um, blue-faced mom reacts to Krishan being unsure about keeping her baby. You know, one day I'm going to come to y'all job and, and show y'all how to work. As you always telling me how to do my motherfucking job. <laughs> This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Chill, so Helena. last night's episode of Crazy in Love, episode two was pretty heartbreaking to watch. Krishan was really going through it. And Blueface's mom, Miss Carla Sat, immediately reacted to Krishan being unsure about keeping the baby. What'd she say? And this is what she had to say on social media. She said, I tried to tell you, tried to tell don't you. take it out. On I tried to tell you, don't take it out on the they baby boy. He didn't ask to on be the here. baby. He didn't ask to be here. And then she said, stop tagging me. Y'all said the baby was what she needed and it was going to change her. Keep that same energy. I ain't even... I, I, this is probably the only time I can say Carlos is right. Because I feel like she did tell her. Girl, my son gonna hurt you. She talk about everything else. Why wouldn't she tell him that? Please. Done messed this girl's life up. Now y'all want me to save the baby. So let's look <laughs> at some of these comments under the Hollywood Unlocked post. Miss Carlissa actually responded to the post. I say with the F I want to. It's my page and I definitely don't give a F about these robots and these damn comments. I'm the mother sucker. Uh, I'm the mother sucker got to take care of the baby and all y'all got to do is watch. Girl, I don't think, I don't think she gonna be able to take care of that baby right now. Herself, she said, I say what the F. That's not what is given. One said, it's not given that baby at all, actually. Too much. We ain't even know it was a boy yet. This person don't said, don't ever spell yet. ish right, like ever. And then <laughs> this person said, she's truly she is addicted to attention. She is truly addicted to attention. She is the last person that should talk about parents and or kids. Addicted to attention. Right. She is the last person that should talk about parenting or kids. And this person said she just wanted a reason to let us know it's a boy. So then this person said, believe it or not. Am I mistaken? Did she not say it was a girl before? Not a lot of women feel this way, wondering if they will be good mothers. Will the baby have a stable environment? Beginning of postpartum depression. And this person said the way her kids turned out, nobody wants her to save the baby. Obviously didn't do a good job raising your own. Damn. I think uh, Blueface is a great freaking guy. I just think that he's terrible with women. And I think, sh I think that him feeling the way he feels either is because he got hurt. No, he didn't. Because he been with Jaden for forever. He be hurting Jaden more than anything. Or he just been a hoe since he was born. Please have a seat. And this person said, I'm happy she ain't my mama. So I want you guys to listen <laughs> to what she had to say in a previous live stream. I'm saying y'all promoted this and pushed this girl. He love you. Get him to get you a baby, girl. Get you a baby. Get you a baby. Y'all always rushing babies and marriage. That shit to her on purpose instead of being like, be a, be on your boss shit. Like I, how I was trying to tell her, be on your shit. Get your bag. You know what I'm saying? Get you a husband like Rihanna did, like Cardi did. Like wait, wait, wait. No, y'all saying hurry up. Be like us. Be fucked up. Be here sitting in this house. Be <laughs> Girl, hurry up. That's how y'all played her. And I was trying to play her like, you know, like a, like how I've been through it myself, like a mom, like, no, don't do that. Y'all told her, don't listen to her. Got the poor girl over there, big, fat, nasty, mad. She ain't big, fat, nasty at all. What the fuck? That shit heavy, it hurts. She wish. It's annoying, it's hot, it's summertime. People outside, you inside, you ain't got no baby daddy. The nigga don't want to be bothered with you. And he over there with his kids. Y'all get all that to her. Damn. This is the first time I got to agree with Carlissa. She's doing a good job with this narration. Damn. <laughs> y'all get all that to her. I'll never trust y'all. I wouldn't get, you could tell me my motherfucking wig is on backwards. Nobody trusts y'all. I have to. <laughs> Y'all, uh, look, I ain't even mad at her for this one because 
Nobody, and I mean nobody, told Krishan to do this. Nobody. Nobody trusts y'all. Nobody. Now, some of y'all is some good people. It's some good people on like Trump said, and some bad people on all sides. And we probably y'all probably about 50-50. But I'm telling you, I can tell right away which one of y'all is ain't got no gas in y'all tank. <laughs> I can tell as soon as you talk which one. And then I go look at your page, and I can see you really ain't even got a quarter tank of gas. Damn. That nigga done left you high and dry and you promoted she that roasted. Nigga to do that. Come on. A baby gonna change you. All it's gonna do. All she could have been changed without a baby. I have facts. She just needed a few more years to grow up and mature. Y'all brought her she all wrong. The down. Got her sitting over there in the Airbnb right now with a baby. You know what you gotta do when you got a baby? You gotta deal with niggas you don't wanna be bothered with. You gotta deal with people you don't wanna be bothered with. You can't just jump up and go over there. A lot of people always say it takes two. Like, and people always tell me, especially because I got 95% women that follow me, to talk about the man. Y'all, it ain't nothing to say. They're already full of shit. You know how many times, you know, no. You know how annoying it would be to keep saying, why you ain't talking about the man? When the man is going to continue to do what the man do? That's what they do. And y'all let them. Like, run all over me, please, daddy. All right, bet, baby, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait to get ran all over right now. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Y'all got to stop doing that shit. It ain't no sense. This person's house and lay on their couch and jump up and leave and go over here and go get some of this bag and that bag. You got to be like, yes, massel. Because, you know, you got kids. So now you a slave to everything to try to protect your children. Facts. So now she got to be like, yes, massel. To everything and everybody to make sure. Well, first of all, I wouldn't be no yes or master to him at all. Because he he don't even want to watch the kids by himself. He let that be known. I ain't watching them. So much that he would uh, put the baby up for adoption or, or whatever he said. Uh, because he don't want to watch the baby. Like, I think he he knows he's irresponsible with that. That's just straight crazy. Straight forever and ever. When she could have just balled out and just tried to get to a billion dollars real quick. Now she got to get try to get to a billion dollars when somebody call and talk about what time are you going to take the baby up? What time are you going to, what time, how, how many days are you going to be gone? Like, and that plays a stress in your mind and your creativity. Uh, you can't really create shit. Like Lord, she's talking that shit today. How, how they crowd these people, how, how hard it is to create stuff out here and try to make moves and have a kid in the back of your mind even though you got a nanny or your auntie or your sister there with you and they they get tired too and now you got to be like shit i gotta hurry up make this move make that move hurry up and get back to the baby and heal some massive when she didn't have to do that that's crazy because jonathan is not fixing to leave javon she could have motherfucking kenta kunte Okay, she could have Kenta Kunte. He could come out nine, nine, Ain't it Kunta Kente? nine feet tall and jump a great wall. Jonathan that nigga and said Javon to... is like peanut butter and goddamn jelly. That's his firstborn. It's never going to matter. You're never going to compete with Javon. Javon going to say, I got this to do. Now today. she's going down a hole. Today, and his mama going to tell him, make sure you tell your daddy that you got soccer practice today. And it's going to be the damn day she in labor. And now this nigga got to make a choice between soccer soccer practice or, or labor. And what y'all think he going to do? Girl, he going to tell practice. Tell Javon no. Now this lady going to be up in here pushing his baby out by her goddamn self because the whole internet told her, get a baby by him. It's going to change you. Damn. You guys, I, I'm so disappointed in you. I know she disappointed in y'all. That's why she don't talk to y'all no more. If you notice, she don't never, she used to be in the comments. She used to be fucking with y'all. She don't fuck with y'all no more. She know y'all fucked her life up. Damn. Okay, so you heard how Miss Clarissa Damn. reacted. Listen, I am on Carlisa's side with this one, like... Baby, I ain't one of the ones, though, who was like, Krishan had that baby. Hell no, please don't. God, no, please, no. And she did it anyway. Well, what you want me to do? Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, Is Carlissa wrong or are y'all finally on her side with this one? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.